is up guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony today we are in the all new 2019 bmw x7 courtesy of apple bmw in york pa and so i will be going over absolutely everything about this one for you guys so as always let's start with pricing and so to start there will be two different setups for the 2019 x7 there is the x drive 40i that is going to start at seventy three thousand nine hundred dollars then you have the x drive 50i that one is going to start at ninety two thousand six hundred dollars but so then as you can probably imagine judging by the trim levels there there are two different engine setups available for the x7 first one being the three liter twin power turbocharged inline six cylinder that is going to belong to the x drive 40i that we have today that one puts out 335 horsepower at 5500 rpm and 330 pound feet of torque available at 1500 rpm power is going to be sent to all four wheels through bmw's x drive all-wheel drive system and that power is sent to the ground through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters which we will test out in a little bit here zero to 60 time bmw puts it at approximately 5.8 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 20 in the city, 25 on the highway. And the X7 will give you an auto start stop system as well. So when you're stopped at a stop sign or a red light, the X7 will turn off automatically for you, saving a little MPGs there as well. But the other engine set up belonging to the X-Drive 50i, that is going to be a 4.4 liter twin power turbocharged V8. This one putting out 456 horsepower at around 5200 RPM, 479 pound feet of torque available at 1500 RPM. PM. Again, sent to all four wheels through an eight speed automatic, but on this one, zero to 65.2 seconds, which is crazy for a three row SUV, by the way. And MPG numbers coming in at 17 city, 22 highway. And so, before we do any kind of acceleration in the X7, I did want to mention there are some drive modes located just behind the shifter there, and they're going to include Eco Pro, Comfort, Sport, and Adaptive, which is really where the car decides what driving mode is best for your particular situation. But they're going to adjust things like the shift point throttle response and the steering sensitivity as well and so but now having said that let's put the shifter all the way to the back and to the left that is going to give you that manual shift mode if you wanted it and let's do a quick little acceleration test with the paddle shifters i want to see how quickly they react for us and overall see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed oh my gosh <laughs> love it <laughs> All right, you guys, so two things. Paddle shifters are lightning quick, probably among the fastest I've ever experienced in an SUV and really any vehicle, really. They are insanely quick. And to be quite honest, the X-Drive 40i that we have today plenty of power i don't even see you needing the v8 but definitely no issues with merging onto the highway or anything like that but so then to go along with that acceleration braking is equally important and so of course you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes that come standard on this one and in my short drive today i've had absolutely no issues with the braking feel or anything like that when it comes to the handling and suspension on the X7, you will find a double wishbone front suspension, in the back a lightweight multi-link integral rear suspension, and one of the best parts about the X7 contributing to its smooth ride is there is a two axle self-leveling air suspension. And so this is basically gonna automatically adjust its height based on road conditions, meaning if the X7 senses you were going on some back roads, going a little faster than perhaps you should be, it's gonna lower the X7 a little bit, providing a little better handling, and at the same time, if you're just cruising, it's going to raise that height up to not only give you better ground clearance, but give you a more comfortable ride as well. And it actually gets better than that because you can manually adjust the height of the X7 as well, located just behind the shifter there. But that's going to give you the ability to raise the X7 up 1.6 inches above the standard setting if you wanted to. So really quite a bit of control. And again, with that air suspension, you're going to get so much of a smoother ride as opposed to an SUV without it. So definitely a very high end suspension setup if that is a thing so very nice there as far as cabin noise goes it is a very quiet cabin definitely no issues there steering feel is as expected not the heaviest in the world but it is as expected for an suv so we're good there as well and when it comes to visibility it is as expected for a three row suv not the very best i've ever had and of course if you have that third row up those headrests are going to impede visibility ever so slightly in the back as well but still you're going to find that on any three row suv so that's really not an issue for me but it actually gets better with visibility because 
because you do have a head-up display right in front of the driver's sight, giving you the speed limit as well as how fast you're going at any given time. So that is definitely nice as well. But that is about it for the driving dynamics. Let's move on to the exterior because like I had mentioned, the 2019 X7 has been completely redesigned for this year. So without further ado, let's check out the exterior of this all new 2019 X7. So to start for 2019, probably the most obvious difference is going to be that larger active kidney front grille. To the sides, adaptive LED headlights will come standard. They will come with automatic high beams as well and LED fog lights just below. Also, one thing you're going to notice about the exterior is there are satin aluminum trim details throughout the entire exterior. So you will find some near the lower part of the front bumper up there, but they will continue on to the side and the back as well. But make your way to the side, satin aluminum roof rails, satin aluminum window surrounds, power folding heated side mirrors will come standard with LED integrated turn signals as well. Then take a look at the wheel set of 21 by 9.5 inch wheels are going to come standard and will come with run flat all season tires along with them. And there are plenty of different optional wheel setups, including the 22 inch design that you are currently looking at right now. But then make your way to the back. You will find a rear spoiler with an integrated brake light back there. Just below that, a rear window wiper. LED taillights will come standard, of course. And I did want to mention there is a chrome horizontal bar that ties together the two taillights. Thought that was an interesting design cue on this one. Also, before we get to the exhaust, there is a $550 towing package. And that's going to give you a towing capacity of 7,500 pounds if you wanted it, which is more than enough to tow a small boat just not a yacht but still definitely a good bit of towing capacity for the x7 but just below it all dual exhaust outlets back there so you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So, but now since we are round back when it comes to that rear lift gate it is a power lift gate so simply just press the button on the key fob that's what i did and it is a two-piece lift gate so it's going to open up the top part and then you just press the button on the bottom that's going to open up the bottom part so definitely pretty nice there and once you have that open there is actually a cargo cover tucked away underneath the floor storage there as well if you wanted it but one of the best parts about the cargo area is everything is power operated so there are buttons in the cargo area that you simply just press and walk away and it is going to fold down that third row seats bumping the cubic feetness up to 48.6 and there are more buttons. If you press that once again, it folds down the second row, giving you 90.4 cubic feet. So like the space, but love the fact that it is all power folding, definitely convenient. And the same goes for putting those seats back up as well. You just press the buttons and they automatically fold back up for you. So definitely pretty nice there. But then let's make our way to the rear leg room because we all know third rows sometimes don't always fit adults. So third row leg room is gonna come in at 33.3 inches. I am even six feet tall. I did manage to fit, but it was not comfortable. So third row is probably better left for small children as it is with most three row SUVs out there. But also wanted to mention for that third row, they have their own individual moonroof back there. So a lot of times SUVs will leave out the third row passengers and they won't put a moonroof back there. But for the BMW X7, they got one. Not only that, but there are USB charging ports in that third row as well for those children that need to power up their cell phones and iPads and all that fun stuff but making your way to the second row legroom that comes in at 37.6 inches so for adults my six foot self more than enough legroom back there and once again second row has access to the panoramic moonroof and by the way i should mention the x7 is available as a six seater or a seven seater so in this particular instance this is a seven seater setup for the center captain's chairs to make it a six seater that is an option if you wanted to go that route but either way there's a lot of amenities for those second row passengers including with the premium pack you get rear electric side window shades you can get a rear seat entertainment package which you're actually looking at right now that goes for twenty two hundred dollars there's also four zone climate control that comes standard so the rear passengers can set their own temperatures back there there's also a rear center armrest with cup holders as expected but with the cold weather package they get rear heated seats back there as well and once again usb charging ports and of course rear ventilation for all three rows as expected but now let's make our way to the front seats on this one 16 way power adjustable front seats will come standard they come with two-way power side bolsters four-way lumbar support and memory settings and the standard finish will be a sensitech upholstery and those front seats will come heated that is all standard but 
There is a luxury seating package I wanted to mention. That goes for $1,600. That's going to give you 20-way power adjustable front seats, and that's where you can adjust the backrest width as well. It's kind of interesting. And they will come ventilated as well in the front there. And the best part of that luxury seating package is they come with the massaging function for not only the driver's seat, but the passenger seat as well. So after a long, hard day's work and you need a massage, you got it in the X7. But taking a look up front, there is a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. It will come leather wrapped, will come heated with that cold weather package that we have here. And that cold weather package, again, actually comes with a heated center armrest, which is kind of cool because we still have snow on the ground here in PA. So you almost never find that on vehicles, by the way. So that is definitely nice. Then when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your lock, unlock, and that button to pop the rear hatch. And by the way, always want to mention the lock button is the BMW emblem in the middle there. Also wanted to mention, you may have seen this. There is an optional BMW touchscreen key available. That's going to give you a remote start. That's going to add an additional $300, but that is definitely a pretty sweet key. But we don't have that today, so I'm not going to go into detail. But I am going to simply just put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button, which is located just to the left of the shifter there. And so when started up, you are going to find BMW's new full digital display up there. Speedometers on the left, tachometers on your right. There is a digital speedometer within that, and the navigation is actually going to be located in the center of it all. And depending on what driving mode you put it in, those gauges are going to adjust slightly as well. But now let me make my way to the very best part of the X7, without a doubt, the interior quality. Starting with my favorite part on this one, it's the little things that count. This is a $650 option we have today, but what you were looking at now is the shifter finished in Swarovski crystal. That is definitely amazing. And that crystal finish comes not only on the volume knob for the radio, but also the circular dial to the right of the shifter and the engine start button to the left as well. It is all finished in crystal. Panoramic moonroof will actually come standard on the X7, so that is nice. But an option for that panoramic moonroof to tie it all together is LED lighting surrounds with different colors available for the panoramic moonroof that is pretty sweet that goes for $750 also, you will get a universal garage door opener, a wireless phone charger, ambient lighting, all of that comes standard. And you gotta love the two-tone finishes in this one with the genuine wood trim. And this is without a doubt one of the most high-end finishes I've been in in quite a while, you guys. Definitely very nice. But let's make our way to the tech display on this one. You will find dual 12.3-inch color touchscreen displays, one of them being the gauges, of course. But front and center, it is touchscreen voice activated, or you can use the circular dial and buttons just to the right of the shifter, so plenty of ways to adjust what's on that tech display there. Bluetooth and audio streaming will come standard. You will get Apple CarPlay with a one year free trial there. Factory navigation, again, is going to come standard on the X7. And you can check out your weather settings if you wanted to. I found that pretty nice. And of course, the radio settings as well. And when it comes to the sound system, by the way, standard setup is going to give you a hi fi sound system with 10 speakers, 205 watts. If you went with the premium pack, you are going to get a Harman Kardon surround sound system with that, giving you 12 speakers and 360 watts. The last sound system setup available is a Bowers and Wilkins Diamond surround sound system for 4,200. That's going to give you 20 speakers and 1,500 watts. And to date, in the 350-ish cars I've reviewed, that is still my favorite sound system, by the way. But we do have the Harman Kardon sound system today, so you guys know what we have to do next. Let's turn on the radio, see what we got playing this morning, and let's test out the clarity of this one. Oh my, Definitely a very nice sound system, plenty of bass. I almost don't need the massaging seats because there was so much bass, but definitely very nice, more than enough of a sound system for the X7. And by the way, another thing I wanted to mention, to turn that radio up or down, there is gesture control available. That's what I've been playing around with quite a bit in this one. So simply turn your finger in a clockwise or counterclockwise rotation, and that's gonna turn the volume up or down. Definitely pretty fun to play around with. But last thing on the tech display I wanted to mention is when you do put the X7 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera that will come standard on every single trim level. However, there is a parking assistance package available for an additional 700. That's going to give you a surround view monitor with 3D technology and parking assistant plus where it parallel parks itself, but definitely helps you out with visibility when it comes to putting it in reverse there. But as always, that is going to lead me into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags. In the back, there is latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also standard frontal collision warning with city collision mitigation, lane departure warning, blind spot detection with rear cross traffic alert, 
And I also wanted to mention an off-road package. And this goes for $1,650, but I put this in safety because you never know when you're gonna go on some gravel roads or back roads or something like that, or snow where you might need this because this is gonna give you a mechanical differential lock and some off-road driving modes, including sand, rock, gravel, and snow. And this is gonna adjust things like the height of the X7, the X drive system, accelerator response, shift points, and the DSC system as well. And so, but anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold. Rolling at the record hop, 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 rock, get out of rolling.